Hello, all my artists. Today, we are going to be doing a self-portrait. And a self-portrait, as you guys know, is a portrait or a picture of yourself. But we're gonna update it to make this self-portrait look like what you might look like if you were going out to a store today or when we get to come back to school. We'll be wearing something that I'm sure you guys are familiar with, We'll be wearing a mask to help keep everyone around us safe. So we're gonna make a portrait, self-portrait of you wearing a mask. First thing we're gonna do is we have a piece of paper. I'm gonna fold my paper up, but not all the way to the top, okay? About halfway up, I'm folding my paper, okay? Then with a pencil, okay? And the pencil part's important, and I'll show you why later. We don't wanna use anything really but a pencil we are going to be drawing a half a circle or what will become the top of your head. Top of your head, right? Okay, so now down here, we're gonna make the bottom of your head. Okay, bottom of your head, top of your ear, bottom of your ear. You need your ears to hold the mask up, right? Okay, so here's the top of your face, here's the bottom of your face. For this portrait, your bottom of your face for part of it is going to be the mask. So I'm just gonna make a line that's gonna go from one side of my ear to the other. This is all gonna be in my mask. You're gonna design it however you want. Exciting, right? All right, top half. When you wear a mask, we still see your eyes. I'm gonna make my eyes half circles today. Kind of cartoony, but kind of fun. Half circle, iris because that's the part where you see your color. Pupil, that's the part that's black for everyone. It shows which way you're looking, okay? They look a little weird. Need some eyebrows, need some eyelashes. All right, so there's my eyes. Um, we need two little lines for a neck. You know, you need the neck. Now, you need your hair. You can make your hair look however you want. Um, if you make yourself have long hair, you have to draw the top part here and then have it come down. So if I was going to make long hair, it has to come down here too. Okay. And I might make some textury lines for my hair. Then you make your hair however you want it to be. It doesn't even have to look like you look in real life. All right. So here is the beginning of my self-portrait. Now, remember we folded it? I'm opening it. Uh, I'm missing a part. What happens when you are in a space when you're outside and you're not too close to people and you can take off your mask? We're gonna take off your mask. So now, here to here, we're gonna make another curved line for the bottom of our face. We're gonna make the bottom of our ears. We're gonna make our nose Right, because look, our nose is covered up by the mask. And make a big smile. Because that is covered by the mask. Don't forget your neck. Now look, my hair came down here. So if you have long hair, you're going to have to finish up your hair coming down this way. If you have short hair, you probably don't have to do this part. If you wear an earring and you feel like wearing some earrings coming down, you can go right ahead. If you want to add things like a hat, a headband, a bow, whatever you want, okay? And then you're gonna design the mask. Okay, so we have this part covered, but are we done? We're not done. We've got to do the face. Okay, so you've got your face wearing your mask. You've got your face without your mask. But we have this space down here. And I was thinking what would be kind of fun to do in this space down here would be to put your name, okay? So, you know, how 
I always say it's kind of fun um, to make your name look a little more creative in art. Don't just write it like you would on a math paper or a spelling test. Let's make it a little creative. So you guys know if you write your name lightly, I'm going to write Mrs. Jordan. Don't write Mrs. Jordan on yours. Then you can go around it with a bubble or a block shape. And when you erase the letters in there, you'll have cold bubble letters. Okay, so you will have your face with your mask on. Um, remember I said don't use markers, I'm gonna show you why. I started to do one and I traced it with markers, started doing my name with markers and look what happened, went through the paper. Don't use markers for this project, crayons, colored pencils, okay? And underneath you have your face and your name with whatever kind of design you want. I can't wait to see your masked and unmasked self-portraits. Bye, my artists.